Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas <laughs> everywhere you go. Okay, but before we get to the Christmas tree, I have to tell you. So we are now, I think we are, see it's the 16th, so we are nine days away from Christmas. So I uploaded my videos last night and I was relaxing and I was hanging out in bed with Boo and Alex. And I said to Alex, I said, I really need to put up the Christmas tree. <laughs> Why is putting up the Christmas tree every year like a labor of love? I don't know why. Um, I mean, we have the world's tiniest Christmas tree. I have the one upstairs, but I didn't put any ornaments on it. And it was so funny because I made the bed like real nice with all the Christmas pillows and stuff on it. And um, Alex came home the other day and I had the Christmas tree plugged in in the corner. I literally, I took the Christmas tree out of the box, put no ornaments on it whatsoever and just like have it with the lights, but it's kind of like a flocked Christmas tree. So it looks like it's like snow and stuff, you know? And he goes, oh, the Christmas tree looks pretty. And I said, oh, <laughs> it took no effort whatsoever, right? So anyway, last night I was like, okay, I need to put this Christmas tree up, all right? For one reason, because I wanted to do a video and I wanted to call it, I finally put the Christmas tree up, number one. Number two, because we're a week away from Christmas and it's like at this point, like if you're not gonna put up a Christmas tree or if you're gonna put up a Christmas tree, you either do it or you don't, right? <clears throat> and so I was like, I've gotta put this Christmas tree up. Like we've got to have it up. And Alex had all these presents and he was starting to wrap them and he was like, are you gonna put up the Christmas tree so that I can put the Christmas presents <laughs> underneath it? And I was like, yeah, sure. And it took me no time whatsoever. I went into the basement, I pulled the Christmas tree up, I pulled the ornaments up, and I actually, the first show that I wanted uh, to watch was Fat Albert's Christmas. I had started watching it the other night, and um, it's on YouTube, you can find it. I love it, it's one of my favorite uh, Christmas cartoons. I also love Fat Albert's Halloween, but Fat Albert's Christmas is, super super spiritual and um it's about the like the christmas story and all that kind of stuff and i love it so much so anyway like the nativity story and um they kind of like morph it into you know talking about like the fat albert kids and all that kind of stuff and i, I just love it it's one of my favorites and then i watched another spiritual one, Frosty the Snowman. It came on right afterwards, so I just started watching that. And um, I kind of forgot how much I love that cartoon. And um, so anyway, it literally took me the time that I watched Fat Albert's Christmas and probably five minutes of Frosty's, uh, Frosty the Snowman to get our Christmas tree up. So let me show you our Christmas tree. Here it is, da, 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 da. And you can see Alex has his Christmas wrapping. He got black Christmas wrapping this year. He's very proud of it. He had a black Christmas wrapping and then he also got these beautiful boxes that are like black. I think he thinks that we're an American Horror Story Coven's Christmas or something like that. But anyway, they're beautiful, aren't they? So he got these, these are, they're from Hallmark, it says on the side. And um, yeah, I think he got them. Did you get these on Amazon? Babe? What? Did you get your, uh, the Christmas boxes from Amazon? Yeah, I got them from Amazon. So you can get them on Amazon and uh, you can wrap all your presents with whatever. Did they have different colored boxes as well? Uh, just like a pale pink. They have like a pale pink and then they have like the black and whatever. But they're really, really nice quality boxes. So, so let me show you. Now, last year, if you remember, I, um, sh like, I think I put up, I was decorating the Christmas tree while I um, filmed this, but hold on a second. I think I just turned down the light a little bit. Should we, oh, should we look at what the Christmas tree looks like with no lights on? Are you ready? Here we go. Ooh. <gasps> look at that. It's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the ornaments. Now, some of these ornaments are ornaments that Alex and I purchased. So we used to do like a big tree and we actually still have it in the basement. Um, we have like, you know, I don't know how big it is, five feet, six feet tall uh, fake tree that we had in the basement that was pre-lit. And we would do that every year, you know, put it in the corner and where this chair is right here. So we have this like leather chair in the corner and we would put that up every year. <clears throat> But a couple years ago, um, because we go over to my cousin Caroline's on Christmas Day and we spend Christmas Eve with his family, out, it was like a week before, it was like just like this, it was like a week before Christmas, 
And Alex was like, do you really want to put up the Christmas tree this year, babe? And I was like, so, I was like, what? We're not going to put up a Christmas tree. He was like, we're, we're like a week out. And he was like, we're going to put it up and then we're going to take it down. And I was, gonna, I was like, oh my God, we're not going to put up a Christmas tree. <laughs> so anyway, we didn't put up a Christmas tree. And honestly, like I hate saying this because it's so anti-Christmas, but like I didn't miss it at all. <laughs> and then the following year, like I wanted to put up a Christmas tree but I didn't want to put up the big Christmas tree. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I think it was, Tanya and I vlogged it maybe. We were at Meyer, and um, I found this Christmas tree, which is all flocked. I don't know if you guys can see it. Here, let me get right up on it so you guys can, I don't know how, how close I can pull it, but it's like all flocked. It's very pretty. And it was the last one that they had, and, um, so we took it, and it had the box underneath, like the display case. It had, they had it up. And so Tanya's like, it's for sale. Don't even worry about it. So I just took it, and I put it in the display box, and we took it out. So anyway, it was the last one that the Meyer had. So a lot of these ornaments are ornaments that Alex and I bought the first year that we did a Christmas tree together. And our theme, um, because of wanting to move to Florida at some point, was birds. Birds! Birds! <laughs> so we got all of these bird ornaments. And then the other ornaments that are on here are, some of them are ornaments that people sent me through the years and the other ornaments that are on here are and a lot, I didn't put all the ornaments that we have obviously because they wouldn't fit so I think we have like 30 or 40 ornaments still in the box and then the rest of the ornaments are um, these ornaments that my aunt Kathy she used to um, like she would uh, collect and they're the I can't remember what they're called they're like the Peter do you guys know what I'm talking about I talked about them last year but they're the ones that are like, uh, this one is like one of them. It's like the metal ones. I can't remember what they're called, but they're metal. Um, I think this one right here is one of them. We have a couple like really, really big ones. This one down here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a, it's like a house. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The Peter, Peter something, something. Anyway, she used to collect them. So when she passed away, Caroline, my cousin, kept some of them. Caroline gave some to me, and then Caroline gave some to her other cousin. And um, so we each have a lot of them. And my aunt loved Christmas, and she loved her Christmas tree. And so she had all of these. What, what's, the, what's the name? Peter? Why can't I think of his name? But anyway, I think his name is Peter. But two things that my aunt collected. She can, collected those ornaments, and then she collected um, the Limoges boxes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I love those. My cousin Caroline has them. So anyway, um, so these are some of the ornaments that we have. You can see um, right here, this is a cardinal because that's representative of my mom. And we have like two cardinals on here. This one I love, it's like this metal cardinal. It's not my aunt, so like some of the metal ones, like this blue one and stuff, were not my mom's. Um, and then we have this little cardinal down here that has like a button on it and stuff. Our mix of birds is very interesting that I was looking at. They're either like kind of like home, kind of birds, you know, <laughs> birds, birds. <laughs> but like, they're either like made out of cloth or they're very like shiny. Like, I don't know if you can see this one. I have these like, kind of like, I like put them on and then I bent it. So I don't want to show you, but like Alex loved these that have these long feathers on them. These have like peacock feathers and stuff on them. So we have quite a few of those that have like these big long feathers. And we even have more in the box down below. And, or down in the down in the basement, but then we have some of these cute little just like cloth ones that look like they were like knit or crocheted. I think those are so cute too. And then here's like so anyway. So there, our Christmas tree is done. And then if that if that was not enough, I found <laughs> down in the basement. Well, I actually found rain a reindeer. Um, bells that my mom used to put on the front door with the wreath and so I put it underneath our wreath out front and then I found this little Christmas tree right here and I put the little Christmas do you see it a little Christmas tree right here and then I found this little gnome I think I might have bought this last year somewhere I don't know where but anyway he fits perfectly right here and then look who I found. Look who came to visit. Oh, she lost her hat. Look who I found that came to visit again this year. Oh my Lord. Here, let's give this be a thumbnail. <laughs> who came to visit again this year. You know what is so funny is, if you guys watch my drama channel, I hope somebody remembers, but I do not remember 
what her her name was. Do you guys remember what her name was? Sally something. Do you guys remember Sally? She, she didn't behave very well. She was a mischievous elf. So anyway, that she came back to visit. They, I guess they let her out of girls' school, and so she's here to visit. So anyway, hi, honey. So she's going to be with us through the holidays. So if anybody remembers her name, please put it in the comment section below so I can start having her in my uh, drama videos again. But anyway, so found that, so I thought I would put that next to a little Christmas tree right down there. Hello. She's an elf by the fireplace, not an elf on the shelf tonight. So, oh, her hat keeps on falling off. Why does her hat keep on falling off? Okay, her chapeau. So anyway, that is uh, the Christmas tree of love. <laughs> Do you guys like it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys. I'm so happy that I finally got my Christmas tree up. Last night I watched TV in the chair and I like had it up and I kept on like looking over it. I was like, oh, it's so pretty. It just looks so nice. I'm so happy that I finally got it up. And then when I take it down, I'll be like, God, I can't believe I only had it up for like 10 days. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't be critical of my beautiful Christmas tree or my feelings will be really hurt. <laughs> uh, last night, Alex, he like walked to the, like over to the, the landing of our bedroom and he like looked down and he goes, oh, the Christmas tree looks so nice. I was like, oh. So anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.